Science is a pretty damn good thing. It teaches us about the world, means you can use Bunsen burners and mix chemicals in a test tube. Those are things you just can't live without, and we owe it all to science. But science can also be a right dick at times, because it often reveals facts that we don't want to know. Facts that will make you question your very purpose as a human being. So sit down and brace yourself. I'm Simon from What Culture. This is 9 science facts that will ruin your day. Number 9. Most people can't go 10 minutes without lying. If you instinctively reacted that statement by going, that's not true, thank you. You just proved it correct, because that is a lie. And yes, everyone lies. If you didn't, it would actually make you weird. The issue is how much people lie. A study at the University of Massachusetts found that at least 60% of people told an average of 2-3 to three lies in a 10 minute chat. On top of that, 86% of people regularly lie to their parents, 75% to friends, 69% to spouses, 40% lie on a CV, and a whopping 90% have told a lie on their online dating profile. So no, you can't play the piano. Even better, 30% of people lie about seeing the movie The Godfather. Like not doing so makes you some sort of cretin or something. Number eight, having kids is one of the most depressing things possible. When people call their kids a bundle of joy, there's a good chance they're lying. Which also then ties into entry number nine, making this list so airtight it's ridiculous. Having a child can destroy a couple's happiness and has scientifically been compared to other events such as divorce, unemployment, and even death. A 2015 study that followed over 2,000 childless couples regularly surveyed them for how satisfied they were with life. So it basically asked them if they were okay every day for a very long time. It started about two years before the birth of kid number one. And then, 70% reported a decline in happiness. 70%! Number seven, the Earth has lost 50% of its wildlife in the last 40 years. Since the 1970s, 50% of the world's animal species, both on land and in the sea, have gone extinct. Good work, humans. You're doing a fantastic job. Scientists deem mass extinction to occur when that figure gets to 75%, and these same boffins think that could happen in the next 200 years or so. By that point, we're pretty much on the same level as the asteroid that killed all the dinosaurs. That took 33,000 years though, so right now we are kicking ass in the worst possible way. Number six, we'll probably never explore the galaxy, unless you play Mass Effect or Elite Dangerous. Then you will. Given just how big space is though, there's a very good chance that it's not possible to see everything the galaxy has to offer. Take the nearest star to Earth, which is called Proxima Centauri. That's four light years away. And even then, that would take 19,000 of our human years. Do you have that time? No. No, you do not. Then there's the issue of weight calculation, which is basically when the timescales involved are so big, we would probably invent something to overtake the thing we'd already sent into space beforehand, meaning it was all a massive waste. Some experts believe we may be able to leave our solar system in 1,104 years, which will still be before Half-Life 3 is released. Number five, your brain begins to deteriorate at about 27. A study from a group of researchers at the University of Virginia has found that people begin to experience cognitive decline around the age of 27. As a man who is above that age, all I have to say is, f off. The same studies also showed that peak brain power is around 22 and that your memory really starts to fade at 37. The good news is that your vocabulary and general knowledge keep going strong until you're 60. Number four, you can't change someone's mind. It's not possible to change someone's mind, mostly because they will actually dig their heels in when questioned, even if there's evidence to knock them off their perch. In one particular test, American voters who disapproved of former President Barack Obama's economic policy were shown a graph that basically said, all employment went up. When these people were asked if there was an increase or a decrease, they said there had been a decrease. Number three, you're fat because you're fat. It has nothing to do with your genes. While it is true that DNA can be a good predictor of a person's weight, by and large, we abuse this concept massively and turn it into an excuse not to go and pound some hard steel or go to the gym. I meant go and work out. Genetics change very slowly, so if there has been a spike in obesity over the last 30 years, it's more likely to be environment issues, like there being loads of fast food to shove in your face and you wanting that fast food. Number two, wine isn't that good for you. There's always someone ready to tell you that red wine is actually a superfood, and in the right doses, it can lower your risk of heart disease, cancer, strokes, and reduce cholesterol. Fortunately, it's all nonsense. All these qualities, or so they say, comes from the resveratrol that occurs in it. Alas, a 15-year study in Chianti, a wine region in Italy, found that even people with a high concentration of resveratrol metabolites were no less likely to have died of any cause than those with none. So that's out the window. Number one, might be too late to reverse climate change. As we all try and do our bit, 
the ice caps are basically beyond the point of no return. As these ice caps are essentially Earth's refrigerator, them going away is very bad news. There's also the issue of China, which is now the planet's biggest producer of greenhouse gases and a very high level burner of fossil fuels. Even if we started to overhaul and reverse this to make things greener, we probably don't have enough time before the bad stuff gets too bad. So in short, we may be screwed already which means you can just go and neck that bottle of red wine after all. Know of any other science facts that suck? Let us know in the comments below and then over to like, share and subscribe. You can then follow What Culture on Twitter at What Culture or me at Simon316. I'm Simon from What Culture and I will chat to you again soon.